In the last video, I show you how to integrate the GrapeShears drag and drop editor into React. Since then, I've been thinking about how we can enhance the user experience even further. Today, I'm going to show you two simple features that can significantly improve GrapeShears. First, I've created a small application that lets you create custom styles in real time. This tile editor allows you to manage classes that can be easily integrated into GrapeShears blocks. Second, I will show you how to use CSV files to populate content within GrapeShears. This turns it into a mini CMS, making it easier for non-technical users to manage content changes, localization and more, all within GrapeShears. Let's dive in and see how the class editor can enhance GrapeShears experience. We'll start by creating a simple hero section for a website with a column and some text. GrapeShears is fantastic because it allows you to streamline options and settings, reducing complexity and increasing design consistency. But what if we approached it with an, an agency mindset, aiming to quickly ship landing pages or single page applications? With the style editor, you can customize classes and blocks without needing to code. Essentially, this extends GrapeShears with no code capabilities. You can manage existing classes or create new ones. For example, we'll create a new class called Section and hit the Preview button to see how it affects our block in real time without applying the changes just yet. Next, we'll add padding, background color and text color, then hit the Apply button. You will see that the new class is instantly applied to our section. What's great is that the, within the default GrapeShares editor, you can select or deselect custom classes without causing any issues. You can also continue editing the created class as needed. It's that simple. Now let's add another section with more content. Let's say we want to create a cards with employee information, which is a common feature on corporate or startup about us pages. We can quickly create a new classes to style our text elements. For instance, we can create a batch class to position text within the card absolutely. Then we can create another class for the user card and style it with padding and background color. Here's the fun part. Imagine you have all the content in Google Sheet saved as a CSV file. It's easy to edit or share with team members without needing to create accounts or learn new software. Each column in your sheet has its own title. In our app, there's an options drop-down menu where you can upload the CSV file directly. Each text element can have a custom ID. And this is where you will add the column headings from your datasheet, like the title, description, or name. Now you can select any element you want to populate with the data. In this case, it's our card and hit the render button. Instantly, you will see content generated in GrapeShears editor. In the React markup preview, you will notice that all components have populated content, custom classes, and properties ready to be copied and pasted into your React application. You can also export the React render as a static HTML page for your hosting provider or WordPress site. I will continue experimenting with GrapeJS, but as you can see, your imagination is the limit. As a user, let's think about what else could improve the user experience. I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to check out the community tab where you can vote on future video topics. And of course, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.